The 19-year-old woman who gouged out her eyes while high on meth this February has spoken out for the very first time. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more social media news every single day. In February, Kaylee Mudhart was found kneeling outside a chapel in Anderson, North Carolina, hallucinating, babbling, and trying to rip her eyes out of their sockets. It was across the street and I could see blood and I could hear her screaming and I realized something was wrong, something was terribly wrong. It took several people to restrain her and eventually she was sedated and flown on a helicopter to hospital. The doctors performed emergency surgery to save her optic nerves, but they were not able to salvage her eyeballs. Now in a new interview on WFMY and an essay in Cosmopolitan, Kaylee explains what led up to this horrifying moment. Here I am and I was, I was on my hands and knees like, like this and the railroad tracks were to right here and I ended up beating the ground. I said, why, why me? And I did like that and I looked up just like this. I remember looking at it. She says that she was looking for a friend of hers near the railroad tracks and in her meth-induced state, she thought she had to sacrifice something to save the lives of the entire world. But the real story begins well before that. She was a straight A student at the age of 17 when she had to take a leave of absence from school due to heart arrhythmia. But with bipolar disorder and a history of addiction in her family, she started drinking and smoking pot every day. One day, the pot she was smoking was laced with methamphetamine. As a religious Christian, she thought the drugs were helping to bring her closer to God. Eventually, she started seeking out ecstasy and meth on her own and doing the drugs every day. She wants to tell this story now in the hopes of preventing other young people from taking the same path as her. I'm saved and that was only through being sober that I knew that completely and for the 100% truth because with drugs interfering in your life, you don't know what's going on. Kaylee's mother, Katie Tompkins, has a GoFundMe campaign to raise money to get Kaylee a service dog. The link for that campaign is in the description below. And strangely, despite being permanently blind, Kaylee says her life is better now than it was before the incident. She says, I'd rather be blind than dependent on drugs. She still enjoys playing the guitar and plans to study marine biology in college. Now the opioid epidemic may make most of the headlines, but meth is becoming a growing problem in many parts of the U.S., including North Carolina. In fact, overdose deaths due to meth have increased drastically over the last decade. And that's despite the risk of overdose for meth being lower than it is for prescription drugs and opioids. Let's take a look at some comments. At 37 Not My Wife says, The girl who plucked out her eyes was me on meth, except I ripped a mole off my face and permanently scarred in between my eyebrow. She added, don't talk about the lady who plucked out her eyes on meth if you've never done meth. Not to be that person, but also you don't know. In her case, she was so high on meth that when she pulled out her eyes, she didn't necessarily even feel that, which is just mind blowing to me. Dan Cronin says, pot, improve mood and decreased anxiety. Most times, meth may remove own eyes. At JK Con Cannon says, the story about the girl who gouged her eyes out while on meth has been a far more effective form of dare than I ever received in middle school. Do you think that Kaylee's gonna be able to use her experience to help other teens stay off drugs? Let us know in the comments, and for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.